Hello my friends, it is the Hippie Mama here on this incredibly rainy day. I'm hanging out in my sweet van with no kids, just this big awesome empty van. Um, because <laughs> it was quiet in here, so I had a place to be. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video from last week, from Mother's Day, how to have a terrible Mother's Day. My children and I certainly had a really great time making it. Lots of giggles were had and we thought it was hilarious. Um, if you read my notes on it, you saw that I think I am the funniest person I know. So it's super handy because I am always amused with myself. <laughs> so it's a great skill. Um, so this weekend, my husband actually went out of town last week for fun. He just went with some friends, went hiking, and he got home Saturday night. Um, but don't worry, I still had an amazing Mother's Day because while he was gone, I got myself some presents so to make sure that I would have a great day. And then he actually had to go Sunday night on a business trip for actual for work. But he was going to Puerto Rico, of all these fun places. So as he's headed on his way out of town to go with his buddies to go hiking, he said, I just found out that uh, my, one of my business partners can't come and his ticket is available. Can you come to Puerto Rico with me? Can I go to Puerto Rico with you? Heck yes, I will figure it out. I will figure out the kids. I'll, I'll take, care of it all, take care of it all. So anyway, Saturday I went to Costco with every other person on this planet apparently. It was a mad dash. I had, to have, I had five of my kids with me. The baby was in the cart but everybody else can't fit in the cart so they had to make a choo-choo train to hold on to me because I thought I am not losing a kid in Costco. Um, so I got them some food that they could make here at the kitchen that, so the big kids could stay home and the littler kids were going to go to my sister's and was all set up and ready to go. And then Sunday afternoon we found out that I couldn't go. And my husband is now in Puerto Rico and it is gorgeous weather. He keeps sending me beautiful pictures of the hotel right on the beach. And I am here in my big van, in my sweet sweatshirt, uh, yesterday's hair and makeup, sitting in the pouring rain. And um, so I am going to be talking about disappointment today because it was totally disappointing that I didn't go to go, to go with my husband. Oh, I didn't even add this part to add more salt to my wounds. My baby, Master George, he's been a total stinker all day, screaming, um, and then he threw himself down the stairs. I've never seen a baby do that before. Um, the ba the gate got put. He can go down the stairs, but he was so mad. He just went, he like chucked himself and he'd already had some cement wounds from the other day. So those all opened and he was about to cut some teeth, but now he got the gums open. So the tooth's out. So total blessing in disguise that now I don't have to, he doesn't have to cut a tooth but right and then my husband's been sending me these gorgeous pictures from Puerto Rico while I'm here with this screaming baby where I'm hiding in my van so the big kids can play with him for a minute so I can just have some peace and quiet for five minutes and sitting out in the rain so to say I was disappointed is an understatement so disappointment is always going to come and show up in our life um, no matter what we can be disappointed if we're doing our best and exercising and eating right and we still aren't losing weight and we can be disappointed uh, things don't go our way always we can be disappointed because somebody said they were going to do something and they didn't do it so disappointment is going to always show up so instead of trying to avoid disappointment well one could argue that to not be disappointment right is a state of mind to be at peace and to be honest i didn't have like a meltdown or cry that i didn't get to go with him to puerto rico i'm totally bummed but i'm at a place now where i can just be like i'm bummed but i'm okay but if you are not at a place quite there yet where your husband says hey babe i'm going to take you on this sweet trip and then right before you're like about to pack and get ready to go say Oh my gosh, there's a mistake. I can't go unless I pay $800 um, for ticket stuff because something got messed up. Uh, that you don't have to be disappointed. Um, I kind of lost, I watched that car drive by and I kind of lost my train of thought. Sorry about that. But so what do you do if you are disappointed and uh, it's kind of bugging you? So first and foremost, before you react, so let's say my husband says, babe, I'm so sorry, you cannot come to Puerto Rico with me anymore. So if I were mad or angry, 
the first thing to do if you are mad or angry is to slow down. We talked about the stoplight before, right? To stop. But those deep, calm breaths, they really, really work. To try to, like, you have to physically change your mindset because you get yourself so worked up. So if you can just stop and slow down and um, do your breathing, right? Concentrate on that so that you're not all worked up. And then you can start changing your thoughts. So if your thoughts could be something like, oh my gosh, why did you get me so excited for this? Now we can't go. Um, then you kind of get all worked up. But if your thoughts could be like, wow, that would have been awesome to go. But I understand that we can't. So then which one brings you more peace, right? And if your goal is to have peace, then you're probably going to want to have thoughts that bring peace. Um, and so for me, it was that really stinks. I would have loved to have been with you, especially now that you're sending me these gorgeous pictures of you on the beach. Uh, that, yeah, what my thoughts are create feelings of peace. So I can be happy for him that he gets a little bit of relaxation because um, it's not loud and crazy there and he doesn't have to hide in his big old van to get a minute to himself. And so I can be happy for him and be at peace. And, um, and we also worked something out that we said, okay, great, I, I didn't get a go, so why don't we plan something where we'll go on a trip over our anniversary um, and that we can actually go. And so we can work it out. So step one, you slow down, kind of do some breathing so that you can be clear, so that you don't overreact to the situation. Because how awful would it have been if I, my husband said, hey, I can't take you. And I said, what? Why do you tease me? Why did you even bring it up? I, I was just fine with you going, so why did you have to do this and bring it up? Now I'm all angry and I wasn't angry. And then would he say like, oh, I would love to go on a different vacation with you. Or like, oh, I'm glad you're not coming because you're crazy. Right? And so if you can be at that peaceful spot and say, oh, that stinks. I would have really loved to have gone with you. I would have really, really loved a vacation with you. And then the your thoughts can be calmer and then you can feel a lot more at peace and then you can start creating those actions that you want. So, okay, this didn't work. That's okay. Life, things don't work, right? And um, so we'll go later. If it's in a couple months, if it's in next year, but we'll go and we'll, we'll make time for it. Um, and then... I was trying to think what the last one was. I had it. Like I said, I'm in my car hiding, and so I didn't even bring my notes out here with me. Um, I can't remember. Okay, I had to totally stop and think about what the, the last two points were. So number three, and we've talked about this one a lot, about managing your expectations. And that's a really great way to, to avoid being disappointed if uh, you just manage your expectations. And we've talked about this a lot, is that you can make requests of people, but if you um, don't have expectations, which I know that just sounds terrible, but it really is a happy way to live because then if anything happens, um, you're pleasantly surprised, right? And so uh, managing that expectations instead of saying, well, you I, you said you could do this, so I'm going to expect that it happens that we go on this trip. Um, or I'm going to eat, right? All, all, I'm going to do all these things perfect that my health coach tells me to do and nothing happens. But if you don't have expectations, like I'm going to do these things and now I'm pleasantly surprised that I'm losing this weight. And so managing expectations is step number three to avoid disappointment. Um... And number four, I don't know why I am so forgetful today. I've had to try this a couple times. But the fourth and final one is to see the big picture. So when you get disappointed, you really become narrow-minded in something, right? Like this didn't happen the way I wanted to. Now it's never going to happen. Um, things are never going to work out. But if you can slow down, right? work on your thoughts, manage your expectations, and then fourth, you kind of step back and say, oh, you know what? In the long run, it's okay. It's okay that I didn't go with you. You're going to go. Now you can scout out all the areas. And uh, and I I mean, what would I, he has meetings and appointments and stuff like that. So next time, we now we can go on a different trip where you don't have to work. And we can just hang out and, and maybe we can even go with another couple and have a lot of fun. And so to step back and see that big picture. Um, so I hope that works for you for disappointment and I hope your Mother's Day I was actually talking about that too. I hope your Mother's Day wasn't disappointing and uh, I almost got myself worked up when he came home on Saturday He actually came home. I don't know five or six o'clock. He got home a little earlier than I had thought he was going to and um, <laughs> he, he said you want to come with me to go run some errands 
And my head started saying, oh, I have some Mother's Day surprises for you. Do you want to come with me? And so his errands were little errands and things that he needed to pick up before his trip, um, his business trip he had to go on. And I felt myself kind of disappointed. And I thought, wait a minute, what did he actually say? Like he literally said, I have to run errands. I, it wasn't, I have surprises for you. And uh, so if you can manage those expectations, then you don't, you're not as disappointed. And so I hope these help you. And I hope that um, you had a great Mother's Day also last week and uh, that this is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe because there's always a new video every week. And hopefully next time I won't have to hide out in my van. But if not, it's still a good time. And I will see you next week.